Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to our Moon Festival streaming. So today we're going to show you how to make lanterns. But let's introduce ourselves first. So my name is Sarah. I work here at the library. And my name is Rachel. Nice to see everyone. I also work at the library. <laughs> so today Rachel's going to do our acknowledgement to country. Yes. So thank you to the Wangal people of the Eora Nation for letting us use your land. We promise to look after it, the people and the animals too. Hello land. Hello sky. Hello me. Hello friends. Ah, I like the acknowledgement to country. Okay, so with our lanterns today, this is what we're going to make. So we're hoping that you've been into the learning space and picked up your lantern kits. So in your lantern kits, you have a lantern, you have the handle, a little light to go in your lantern, and two little split pins. One, two. So we'll put them to one side. So we'll show you what to do with those. So first, so we've got different sorts of lanterns. Yeah. So this one is slightly smaller. Well, you mm -hmm. can't really tell by the size, but uh, when you actually start to make it, you will see the difference. Yeah. yeah. So what we need to do first, so if you have a look at your lantern, you'll notice that there's all these little folded lines on them. Yeah. So there's little folded lines. So the first thing that we need to do is actually to fold up the lantern. So if we start on this one, yeah. if you start the big, the big folds, yeah. and you fold it up, yeah. fold up both sides, fold it in the middle, yeah. and then fold it on the other edge, yeah. and then what we're going to do is fold up the base. Yeah. So we fold up the base to three and four and then if you can see on the sides here there's little tabs so we're going to fold those ones in one two three four five six seven eight and a big long tab at the bottom at the side there and how about yours, Rachel? Mine is like, uh, there's only two sides of them that needs to be folded up on the top. And then the other two, uh, actually nothing work needs to be done. It's just easier. It depends on your preferences, which one you like, but yeah, <laughs> easier. And then I forgot a couple of the folds. So these folds, so if you can see it here, these folds get folded down, yep. down like that. And then the fold at the top, they get folded that way. So we're going to have it like that, like that, and like that. Now it's remotely possible you might need some help to do the yeah. folding. Yeah. So if you need some help, get your mum or dad to help yeah. you do the folding because yeah. it, it can take a little while to do the folding. And it can be a teamwork too. Yes, teamwork, <laughs> teamwork exactly. Teamwork, <laughs> teamwork is good. Yeah. And now we're going to do our gluing. So hopefully you've got a glue stick at home. Yeah. So with this one, so how about if I explain this one and then you can explain yeah. how to do, where to put the glue on that one. Okay, sure. So with this one, what we're going to do is glue along the bottom. Yeah. So put lots of glue on. As you can see, we've got something underneath us so that the glue doesn't go on the table. That might be a good idea. Even a piece of paper at home, if you have a piece of paper under it. So putting lots of glue on. All right, and then what we're gonna do is fold up the base. So if we fold up the base, so we start one on top of the other, and then on top of the other, and then this one can get folded underneath and you might need to poke it a little bit to mm. make sure that that sits flat. Yeah. 
So you can just see I'm poking it inside. Poke and I'm tapping it on the bottom so all the bits stick on the base. Yeah. And how about you, this, Rachel? How's your skin? This one is just like the one you did. And also you just make sure you're putting some extra glue on the sides because this can be a bit tricky when you're trying to glue them up together. Sometimes it doesn't stick very well. So of course, put the glue on each side that's been folded up. And uh, let's start the work of sticking them together. <laughs> See if it works, let's give it a test. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so of course, in perfect situation, they should glue up perfectly. <laughs> enough glue. This one looks fine. How about yours? Yeah, so the okay, base is all glued up. So great this time. So now it's time to glue up the sides. Yeah. So as you can see with this one, so we need to put glue down this side and then glue on all the little tabs. So you can see here the little tabs. So we'll do put glue on all of them and then stick them all together. So again, put lots of glue on. Lots and lots. Yeah, because otherwise it's a bit hard to make them stay together if you don't put lots of glue on. Yeah. And you probably get glue on your hands. <laughs> that's what matter. Of, wash yeah, it off. Yeah, wash it off. So yeah. that's one of the fun things about craft yeah. is that you're allowed to make mess. Yes. And that's what we always say. Mess. Yes. <laughs> then put glue on this one. Uh, that's number two. Three. And the last one. Alrighty. Now I've got lots of glue on my hands. <laughs> Me too. You too. <laughs> Same boat. Yes. I'll just rub them together. <laughs> okay. So then what we're going to do now is we're going to stick the sides together. Yep. How about yours, Rachel? I think this one is... All right. Nice, it's lovely. Yeah. All right, let's stick the sides of this one together. So sometimes you might need to hold it mm. for a second or two just to so that the glue actually sticks together. That's one. And again, it's a little bit fiddly, so it's remotely possible, especially sticking up the sides if you need to get some help yeah. and sticking it up. Yeah. Just because it is a little bit fiddly. Mm. It's that whole teamwork thing again. Teamwork again. Team teamwork. spirit. <laughs> <laughs> teamwork is good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And we'll just press them together and make sure that they're going to stay together. There we go. Now we've got our lanterns. Yeah, <laughs> so now we're going to put the handles on. Yes. These are our handles. And as you can see on your lantern, so there's little holes at the top. Yeah. And mine as well. Yep. Two tops. Yeah. And what we'll need is the split pins. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave them like that. Put the lantern handle on the outside and then feed it through, if you can see that, feed it through the hole on the lantern stick and then the hole in the lantern. Yeah. And then the split pin, so then the split pin inside the lantern, I'll show you in a sec, you split it apart like that. Yeah. So I'll show you on one of them. So what you do, so once it's inside the lantern, you take one side, the little legs, you split one one way and split one the other way. So it looks like that inside the lantern. Yeah. Let's do the other side. We go through the lantern handle and then to the lantern. 
and we stick down any of the sides that need still need sticking it's possible you might need extra glue if it, you find it's not quite sticking enough there we go there we go and now we get to do the fun part so now well, let's put the top back on our glue so our glue doesn't dry out yeah and now we've got the lights so on the bottom of the light there's a little black switch yeah. so if you switch it on Easy. there we go and you can pop it in your lantern oh, it's parked. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit difficult. See, this one is slightly smaller. So, what to do is just push this aside a little bit. Oh. If you pin it very hard, so it needs a bit more work to push it aside. And then you can put it through this hole here. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> and sometimes the glue needs to be touch up as well. But then it works. Yeah, so and we recommend especially doing it at night. Wow. Yeah, because yeah. then they'll illuminate like lanterns. Yeah. And the light will come through all the patterns on the side. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, maybe. So once you've had a bit of a look, you can take your light back out, maybe yeah. switch it off until it gets to be night time. Yeah. And then turn it on at night yeah. and see what it looks like at night. Yes. And now we thought we'd have a little bit of a chat. A bit just, of talk. Yeah, yeah, just about the Moon Festival yeah. and what it, what it means around the world. Yeah. So I thought, Rachel, you could start. Okay, I'll start <laughs> first. So in China, the Moon Festival is also known as Mid-Autumn Festival. So that is the actually the second grandest celebration in China compared to the Spring Festival. And on that day, the moon is believed to be at its fullest and the brightest. So Chinese families would gather around, worship the moon, and appreciate the full moon together. And in Chinese culture, uh, the fullness of the moon represents family reunion. So family would gather together, appreciate and worship the full moon, enjoy some family reunion dinner, and sometimes we would even have share one moon cake just to celebrate mm. the family reunion. It's very nice. Mm. And uh, for the lantern, so in ancient times, the lanterns were actually used as a lighting tool, like a traditional lamp. Uh, nowadays, people playing um, more festival lanterns to pray for good fortune and also to celebrate for their family's reunion. So as early as Song Dynasty, there has been a custom of floating lanterns in the river. That's nice. nice. That's romantic. And uh, nowadays, people playing moon festival lanterns. This, so this is also very much welcomed. And then uh, also this is like the second most popular activity compared to the actual lantern festival. So this moon festival lantern have four symbolic meanings to create a festival atmosphere, to um, celebrate a family reunion, of course, and also to continue the 2000 years of craftsmanship of lantern making. And mm. also, you can pray for babies. Nice. Yes, I know. Oh, I love that. Mm. Well, I thought that in um, my first description, um, I would just tell some of the stories of a lovely Korean friend. Um, and so just a bit of a shout out to Anna. Hi, Anna. <laughs> so in Korea, uh, the moon festival is Chuseok. So we say happy Chuseok. Um, and so what she remembered from when she was little is that it, it is a, like in China. Mm. It's a big festival. Mm. So it's the one of the biggest festivals after uh, the Lunar New Year. So people get a number of days off. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, it's a, apparently it's a wonderful feeling. So um, what she remembers when she was little, that they used to go to the markets every year. So she used to go there with her parents and they used to be able to pick a special dress, wow. um, a dress to buy yeah. and maybe a toy like yeah. a doll or some stationery. Um, there was lots of cooking in the house, lots and lots of cooking. So whole days cooking mm. so they would prepare a very special kimchi mm. um, they would make this big a big pot of beef stew 
They would make lots and lots of pancakes. Um, and then what they would do, so there would be a family gathering mm. and then the idea is that they would honour their grandparents mm. so they would bow deeply, mm. really deeply to their grandparents when they saw their grandparents mm. and then what they would do is they would take a lot of the food that they prepared mm. and they go out into the country. Mm. So they go out into the country, into the graveyards with the idea that they're going to be honouring their ancestors oh, yeah. and they would have a picnic that's in nice. the graveyard. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it that's sounds so lovely. Yeah. There's lots of games that they would play, like special games. Yes. Um, and, and there's just lots of traditional things associated with it. Mm. Um, I thought I would mention as well yeah. that years ago, yeah. I had a friend, a lovely friend who is Vietnamese mm. And in Vietnam, the Moon Festival, again, is a really big celebration. Um, and it's also, it's all around children. Yeah. So it's a real children's festival. And every year they would have a lantern parade wow. where they would all get lanterns yeah. and then they would do a parade down to the water oh, nice. and they would sing a special song. Yeah. And I thought I would sing. Yeah, do you know the song? <laughs> yeah, I thought I would sing the song. Oh, <laughs> and then maybe at home you can have a special lantern parade. Yes. Yeah, okay. maybe. Yeah. So this is how the song goes. Tetchong jurak dendi choi, amrak dendi kapo fong, long boy song boy den chong tai, amwa ga jong an yang ram. So we wanted to say as well, just oh, thank That's you. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, so we just wanted to say we hope you're having a wonderful moon festival. Yeah, and thank you for watching us. 谢谢大家的观看，祝大家中秋快乐。嗯，那 that's it. Yeah, happy moon festival. Happy Goodbye, moon everyone. Festival. Bye bye. bye. bye.